Hey what up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back Proud Romans to uh, yeah my next instalment of my Rome 2 uh, Total War campaign. Basically I just want to start off by saying thank you for everyone who's coming over and watching these videos, it's really really awesome. I know there's like 50 trillion people doing Rome 2 uh, campaigns, like your awesome people like Diplex, Lionheart, Frood, Prussian Prince, every, like everyone's doing it basically. Um, and yeah, I just appreciate it that you guys actually come over and watch mine as well as everyone else's so it's just really awesome so thank you uh, and yeah just give it a like if you enjoy these and I'll do more and more and more uh, but yeah so basically I am playing on the new patch as well they released a patch today uh, today is Friday um, and they said they are gonna try and patch it um, every single week there's gonna be a patch every single week till they manage to fix out all the bugs and um, I know a lot of people are having problems with Rome I am fortunately not I haven't encountered any bugs or anything but I know there is a lot of them um, and the game can only get better from here so people who are complaining like saying the game is awful there's so many bugs and stuff like the game can only get better so just look forward to that I guess is what I'm trying to say uh, but yeah, so yeah, I'll also leave the patch notes in the description down below if you want to check them out. And if you want me to carry on leaving patch notes in the description down below when new patches are released every week, I will go ahead and do so. So yeah, just make, uh, make yourself heard. Uh, so yeah, last episode, uh, I lost my general over here, which was kind of funny. Um, and then the, uh, then the freaking uh, uh, Tuscan League uh, started moving troops across, I guess, they're trying to trying to form off in their last place in uh, Syria, in, uh, where even is that? Sardinia. Yeah, in Sardinia, which are probably trying to form up all their troops and just sort of deal with that. So yeah, first things first, let's go ahead and... Uh, we hunger for battle. Just quickly go ahead and... To battle! Charge this army down. Oh, well, it looks like we can't, but they... I might just force your command. march there, I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's all open. This is super loud. I'm going to actually just turn on the sound just on that little bit. It might not be that loud for you guys, but for me, it's almost deafening me. Um, that should be Ready a little bit better. Orders. So yeah, we need to kind of probably move this army over. Ready for uh, orders. Because I can just go ahead and just launch on this place and then just take out the Antonian League uh, straight away. So yeah, let's go ahead and start moving these guys back to Rome. These guys are still really unhappy in, in Italia, which is not so great. I would prefer them to be a little bit more happy. But that's not the end of the world, I guess. They will become happy later on. I mean, we've got a lot. We've got a massive food surplus, which is good. Uh, we have a military building there, which is all right. I kind of want to build build one in uh, in this in this province, because um, for those of you who don't know, um, if you have one military building, so say I have this uh, this military building in Roma, uh, this will affect the entire region. I guess vice versa with everything else. Um, so, Ready yeah, you only kind of need to have one military base, one military province. Hold We're going to go ahead and end the turn. Garrison. We're going to go ahead and end the turn. Uh, because I think we've pretty much done everything we can for this episode. Um, I might also turn off AI moves. Because it just makes it everything take a little bit longer. Like, we don't really care about watching enemy ships moving and stuff. So, I'm probably just going to go ahead and take that off. In a campaign uh, last night, actually. Um, yeah, they're just going to go ahead and build up their troops on their last place. Which is fair enough. Oh my god, that army just needs to go away. I might just force march to it for next episode, uh, next turn, because they force march as well. So we'd technically be on the same, same morale. I just want to kill that army and get get rid of it. Really, it's just annoying. It's just taking up, running through my lands, causing havoc. So yeah, I kind of just want to get rid of it. And yeah, that that'd be kind kind of cool. So yeah, next turn I'll I will march the army. We'll go ahead and land in Alina in Sardinia, uh, or Alina. And then, yeah, that'll be some cool infamy. Where's that? Uh, what do you want? Your daughter is talking to Rome on her behalf. Discuss her husband whispers by all women, sending an even slave smile to ex about her exploits. Make her become a priest, yes, so we'll do go ahead and do that. Family wise, it's not good. Uh, this family has a lot more uh, sway than we do. We are of House Julii. Um, House Cornelius is quite high up, and so is so we kind of we kind of need to try and gain either more sons or do something to secure our our house um, in the Roman Empire, obviously. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and march. How big is that fleet? Yeah, that's fine. Commander, let's go ahead and march our ships off, and then we next still turn. Have a good wind. I Ready should go ahead and just I can't actually merge these guys, which is Your fine. Orders. 
But yeah, next turn we should be able to Ready get there. Yeah, next turn we'll get there, which is beautiful. Uh, this army, can Attack. I reach them? I can reach them, which Attack is nice. For, Rome. for whatever reason, I can't. So if we force march. I don't care how tired you are. Why can't we kill them? We can't kill them in our current state. Oh, can you not? I guess you can't fight in. Um, we cannot follow this order. You can't fight in when you force march, which is fine. Um, everywhere's so unhappy. We kind of need to raise public happiness. None of this would do it. I might just. I don't know. I I kind of want to. I need to get a temple here basically to make these people a lot happier. But for now, I can't really do it. I might just reduce taxes. I have a temple here as well. Public order will increase if I build that. That's a lot of money. That's pretty much my all my money for the turn. I, I'm going to have to really do it, but I need Italia to be happy. Uh, so that's, yeah, we'll do that. What do you wish uh, she can start going up here and start scouting out the Sweet barbarian tribes in the north. Uh, just to see what's going on. Mediolanium is under attack, which is cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to Ember Turn again, I think. Uh, oh, as Epirus has lost that to Athens, which is kind of funny. Um, Athens will probably go ahead and take on Macedon pretty soon. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go to Ember Turn again. Next time we will go ahead and march on Sardinia. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to turn off. I'm pretty sure you can do it in the settings and just turn off AI movement. Because it's just so annoying watching this. And Sparta is going to take the last bit. Epirus always gets just destroyed straight away by Sparta and Athens. Like, I feel sorry for them. Because, yeah, they're about to lose uh, their last place in Apollo and uh, Ap Apollina, I guess it's called. Um, yeah, they're about to lose that. And the, they've just left all their men completely undefended. I mean, they've just lost, left their last city completely undefended. Which is a bit silly. I would have preferred it if they would not have done that, because it would have been a more interesting battle. But, oh well, we'll just have to go ahead and kill some garrison troops, and it'll be beautiful. And then they'll be out of the game, which is nice. We'll just have to kill, kill the remaining of their fleets. I kind of like that idea that you can still stay, even if you lose all your cities, you can still stay in with your armies you've got remaining. So it stops you just like getting snided out and just like you move an army and they come in the side and just wreck you. But I still think it's, it's kind of annoying, I don't know, it's kind of annoying how um, they just attack you like randomly, they don't muster up, they just attack you with small little armies, it's kind of annoying. So the gods welcome her with open arms, I gain plus 25 senators, which is good, that's increased my, um, yeah that's increased my like in influence. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's really good for me. I'm now the, almost the dominant house. Other houses are still uh, a little bit stronger, which is not that great. But we will become eventually yes. the strongest house. So yeah, let's go ahead and move up. I'm pretty sure I don't need the rest of my navy. This should be a fairly easy battle. They've just got Italian spearmen. Of my Hestati should be able to defeat that. Uh, let's go ahead and fight the battle. So this is going to be a, uh, a naval invasion, basically. A beach landing. And we are fighting uh, the Hammers. Oh, no, not the Hammers. The Garrison Army and the Garrison Fleet. So, yeah, this should all be fine as long as we don't get caught. I'm pretty just going to go ahead and land like along this beach. Uh, walk up here and then march my way into the city. Because it looks a, li a lot more open than if I came up here. Then this is blocking my way, so... Yeah, that seems like a good plan. And I haven't actually... I've played about 22 hours on Rome at the moment, and I haven't actually uh, done, like, a proper naval invasion, mainly because I guess I was playing Macedon, and I was just fighting with Greek city states. So I was just fighting Epirus, Sparta, uh, some barbarians. And then I fought eventually Athens, and I'm about to go east in that campaign, actually. Uh, yeah, we're about to go east, uh, but I need to get a general called Alexander so I can reclaim his kingdom for him. Okay, dry effects, which is fine. Uh, where are all our ships? So all our ships are here. We've got a nice looking army. Let's go all the way over here, though. Uh, I kind of just want to land up here ASAP. So first off, our main landing body. Then we'll have a, another support behind them. And then, what does our general look like? Does this have, like, horses on it or what? It's just people off a horse. I bet your horses just appear or something. Uh, let's go ahead and stop the battle. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead, tell them to go up there, they can go up there, oh no, 
forwards. You see, I'm a general from somewhere. So yeah, they should all be going now, which is nice. They have reinforcements. They went the other side, which is fine with me. They've got a load of spearmen. Their spearmen is, should not be my Hestati, so that's what I'm kind of hoping for. My Hestati should, should just be a lot stronger. And the fact that I've got a missile superiority, so I should just be able to shoot them to death, really. I'm hoping for, at least. They've got a few men over here. That's no one really good at all, though. So you can see, our infantry are piling up now. I just need to find somewhere to put half my army. Half my army can't even land. Which is kind of annoying. I guess we have to go over here. Ready and awaiting orders. I kind of need my general to get out here, though. He's going to have to go over there, I guess. Because there's not enough room on the beach. Even though there's a load of room over here. Oh, no, we can get up here. I should probably send my general over here as well. Yeah, that's good. So, let's everyone, let's go ahead and watch them get off the beach, off the uh, boats. Yeah, they're going to quickly jump off there, which just looks awesome, and then march their way on the beach. Which just looks cool. So, yeah, let's go ahead and form up our infantry. Missiles behind them. Which is cool, just whilst everyone else, we still got to get our general off. Uh, we're going to speed it up, actually, I think. Whilst the last of my remaining troops get off. I want to see if horses just randomly appear when they all jump off. Or maybe they'll be stuck on foot. Who knows? Hopefully not. Because I'd much prefer him to be... Or have horses. Or is he going to be stuck on foot? By the looks of it, he's going to be stuck on foot. Which is fine. I'm just going to have to be super careful with him, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and move these guys over here. They're going to be so slow because they're going to have to walk such a long way. But because uh, I, I kind of need to run them to get them over here. And this is, I have to be super, yeah, as I was just saying, I have to be super careful with my general. Luckily, he's got Inspire and Warcry and Second Wind, which is always nice. So if my men do get tired, I can boost up their freshness, which is lovely. I've got my troops. Some of these Sestati have a lot of chevrons already, which is really nice. They've only been in like two battles. So that's awesome. I can also have attacking test judo, which is always lovely because I can just close the gap on them without taking too many missile damage, too much missile damage. Which is really nice. But yeah, this like this boat naval invasion just looks so cool. Just having your boat stuck uh, like stacked up on the on the freaking shore just looks awesome. So yeah. We have now got here, which is lovely. So yeah, start pushing our way uh, into the uh, yeah into the city center. The city center is that, which is fine. I kind of probably should split my forces up a little bit, send some down here, and then some just down the main city gate. That'd probably be a good idea to do so. Uh, my men getting tired at all? No, they're absolutely fine, which is good. Just moving up my villages. I don't want to kind of, I, oh, I don't know, I kind of really don't want to separate my forces just because I feel like I don't have enough forces to do that. But let's just go have a look, let's just go ahead and form up here and then we'll have a look. I have so many missile troops. Okay, I have some troops over here, what do they have over here? Just some Italian spearmen. I can't see anything straight ahead of me. So let's go and just kill these Italian spearmen straight away, actually. We can just form up over there. Our missile troops can just chill here, like, in all fairness. I don't really need them right now. Hastati. Let's go and tell our men to actually charge. We need to get a general over here ASAP. Infantry ready. They've kind of glitched out, just running back and forth, which is kind of funny. They're going to die very, very soon. They're on rapid advance. Oh my god, that peeler damage already. It is just devastating. Oh, they actually have some cab. That could be really dangerous for me. Was it missile cab or war? So yeah, we're going to go ahead and absolutely demolish them. Which is good. These guys... 
Let's go ahead and do that. These guys can do that and then form up Testudo, hopefully. So they're going to form Testudo for a little bit, which is good. Hopefully they take a few less damage from their, their missiles. I'm not even sure what's shooting me with fire arrows, but something is. Oh, it's these guys, Levy Slingers, and they're, they're hitting me with fire arrows, which is kind of funny. But at least when my missiles get up here, I can actually start challenging them. Double time. At the double. So let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit, just so they can get in formation. Attack! So yeah, we're going to be retaliating, throwing our spears back at them. Hopefully we'll be doing a lot more damage, because we have a lot more spears than they do. We've got our slingers coming in as well. And our, our test judos are still formed, which is good. Yeah, we should be able to just push them back, we just have so many more missiles. So we can sit back, just use our missiles quite... Like, and yeah, just use our missile superiority. Probably even kill their general. Really, like, yeah, he, if he stays, he's, he's gone. So, yeah, we're going to kill the other levy skirmishers, just get rid of them, so we're receiving no missile fire. And that should just be, that should be perfect. Yeah, they should just get absolutely destroyed. Then we can hopefully maybe kill the cab, because the cab's going to be the real problem, I feel, as I have literally no spears in this army. We've got some men guarding up this entrance, which is cool. I mean, we didn't. We took a few casualties from our missiles, but not loads, which is perfect. Attack! So yeah, we'll just use the rest of our missiles just to demolish them. Then, and we, we're also hitting some of their generals' cab as well. So it's all going pretty well. I'll just speed it up though, so we can watch our men just fall. We'll go ahead and kill their general now. Where even is he? But. Our general is under attack. Our general's under attack, but he's not going to die from that. I mean, let's go ahead and kill this cab, why not? That looks pretty cool. It's my general's men. So, yeah, we're just going to. We might as well use all our missiles. Like, it just means we, we take less military damage. This cab has so many javelins in their shields. Holy crap. Like, these horses as well. The enemy general is. So, we've managed to slay the enemy general. And now they're going to charge me. Oh. They decided they wanted to charge me, which is fine. Like, their men are not going to stand a chance. Managed to war cry their general, so he'll probably be out very, very soon. Hopefully, I can get a volley off from these Italian spearmen, which I did. Let's go ahead and tell my men to stop firing now. Yeah, my, I mean, I'll inspire... Who's taking a big pounding? You guys are taking a bit of a pounding. So I'll go ahead and inspire you, give you guys second win. And I'll even walk up my general. He probably won't get involved, but that's cool. As long as he's up here. Like, these, these Italian spearmen shouldn't be able to kill me, I'm hoping. So it should just be a fairly easy battle. Pushing up. Yeah, they're gonna run. So now we can just, we can just advance our military line. Let's go and just advance. Uh, we'll walk up. They shouldn't have that much left. I know they have a little bit more of a, a little bit more infantry, probably chilling around somewhere, which I can't quite see. Probably like right here. Just can't see it yet. But that's absolutely fine. We are just advancing, but it looks a bit. I'm not quite sure where their men are. I'm pretty sure that can't just be it, but we'll go ahead and form up as if there are men coming to stop me. I guess they, they yeah, they have, must have some troops. Oh, there they are. Should probably go ahead and slide up them. Hold Romans all. Pastati. Advance and speed. Let's go ahead and form up. Ready and waiting. At speed. We're we'll going to bring up all my missiles as well. And we'll form up a nice strong formation. And then if they don't come to me, then I don't care. Our enemy have lost a victory point. So now they're going to have to try and take this from me. And if they don't, then I just win. So either way, 
it's a win-win. We have a nice, like, tightly packed formation here as well. Ready and, ready ready for duty. and it, if they start just shelling me with missiles, which they're doing, attacking just let's just form an attacking just and General now what are they going to do? We're going to retaliate with some missiles, and yeah, they're not really going to do shit all. See, it's kind of annoying how the AI is like. Is the not, enemy fort will soon be ours. The AI, the AI isn't really that smart. Like, I'm taking the only capture point to make me win, and they still have all this left. Which it, it's kind of sad that it's not like that. I mean, I, I'm just gonna continue because I've technically the won the battle. Turning in our favor. Oh, they're just gonna run, are they? I don't really care to chase them down. I thought their units would still just stay, but apparently not. Uh, what do we do? I don't want to quit the windows. That would have been awkward. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Decisive the victory. Uh, yeah, we absolutely destroyed them. We lost 145 men, killed 300. So totally worth. My Hestasi also has uh, a nice Chevron upgrade already. So when these guys finally get upgraded to Legionaries, um, which will actually be quite a while because I've gone down the economic tree just to get a little bit of uh, economic advantage, uh, just give me that little bit more money so I can keep my uh, provinces happy. And then, yeah, once I've done that, um, I'm going to go down the military tree and actually just pick up uh, some Legionaries and stuff because I think... The, yeah, again, that's another annoying thing, I, I, in my opinion at least, that the fact that you can get your best troops so early on. It literally takes about 20 turns to get legionaries in this, which is just, I don't know, I think it's just kind of dumb, because I'd much prefer to have not taken the city. Why did I not take the city? Ready for orders. There we go. Uh, how it, I'm just going to go ahead and occupy the city, I Pausing. think. And we increase some rank, which is Reach lovely. Reporting. And we got a military tradition, the second got a military tradition, how brilliant. Uh, what other emblems are there? Oh no, the eagle is definitely the best by far. Uh, so yeah, this is a tradition, we want to be a formidable fighter, which is plus three melee damage f uh, for all infantry uh, troops. And uh, this general can be a commander. I want to I want to have like a really good um, like infantry guy who's just like fights down with his men. I think that'll be like maybe Legio 3 will be that. Uh, at the moment we have one public order from all military in local provinces. So I need to kind of want to have a better one for this guy. Uh, yeah, that'll be better actually. One plus one authority. That should give him a really nice authority level. Giving him more abilities to use in battle. Uh, so yeah, now you can see, they now don't have a city. So they're going to be suffering attrition and they have to attack me and take back a city. Um, or they just get knocked out. Like eventually they'll just lose. So yeah, um, a lot of you guys want to need to build a really big navy as well. We are going to build a navy at some point. But I kind of want to have a bigger, uh, a bigger pool before I actually start deciding to do that. Uh, what does that even give me? Plus three three. What am I currently researching? That's what I want to know. I got this as well. I kind of went all over the place instead of just down one tree, which is probably not smart. I kind of what does that give me? Plus three food. I kind of want that because even it just allows me to build loads of stuff, even though I've already got so much food, which is just really good. Like you can't say food is bad because it, it just grows your cities a lot quicker. Five growth per turn in all provinces and twenty uh, replenishment, which is just brilliant. Like you can't say no to that. I might actually just destroy one of these places just to get another just to get another um, another temple somewhere. How much is that going to that really going to affect it? I lose a grand. Yeah, it is that's really not worth it. I just need to get a temple here or at least another temple. I might delete one of these ports even though I kind of I kind of want to keep both these ports. I might just delete that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this and we'll build another temple uh, in this province. One which just solely focuses on public order. They're still super unhappy, but that's... I know, I, I, I'll deal with that. Uh, we got more money from that, so we'll go and build that. Yeah, that's cool from now on. And this army, Ready I can just get rid of these mercenaries straight away. Because I don't really need them. That just gives me even more money. Like, at the moment, getting free ground this early on is pretty strong. And we're going to go ahead and just station I these guys in Napoli. And that, you know, that increases public order, so that's always nice. Um, what do I need to have this as a province? I need just this place in Carthage. So when I go to War of Carthage, uh, yeah, we'll need to take that. But for now, we can just sort of chill. Uh, I might try and get like a. Is Genoa already my city state? Are they. Where even are they? I can just really click on them. They're not my city state yet, which is fine. I kind of want them to be Greetings my city state. Greetings to you. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. 
Uh, they're not going to accept that quite yet. I kind of need to get a bit more bigger and be a lot stronger. Uh, they'll be out very soon. We don't have a city left now, which is cool. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and end the turn, man. I mean, my money's just stacking up as well because I don't really need it right at this moment. They have a lot of armies. Holy crap. Um, yeah, at the moment, I don't really need the money. So, if it's just piling up, that's good. Because if I, if someone, like, suddenly declares war on me and comes up, like, turns up with, like, massive stacks, then, um, yeah, I'm going to have to quickly build up an army and build generals and stuff. So, you know, having money in the bank is always, um, a sound strategy. Epirus is going to be out next time. That Spartan army is definitely taking that place. Yeah, as you can see, they're just going to randomly attack me. Instead of regrouping... Actually, no, they may be oh. Maybe the AI is smarter than I thought. They're actually going to go ahead and send the majority of their armies to try and besiege the city. Okay, yeah, they're a lot smarter than I thought they were. Down here. Uh, what do they even have? I don't need to fight this up in order to resolve this. Uh, what will give me best? Defensive will give me best. Yeah, they'll give me the most remaining troops. And I killed a lot of them. We're going to release the slaves. It, yeah, the only, it's just the annoying thing is that all the, all three of these fleets like are going to have to attack me again. And I'm going to have to kill them. And then if I don't kill the units, then we're going to come back and just keep on doing it every turn. Which is just kind of annoying. I feel, anyway. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. We'll deal with it. Normally, as well, in the majority of my campaigns as well... I've seen pretty much every single, uh, every single time I've seen Carthage actually get knocked out, like by the uh, people at Syracuse. Syracuse has just knocked them out every single time, which I always thought was funny. It's also disappointing as well with Syracuse because you know that has um, well the great the great walls of Syracuse, oh in Syracuse obviously, and it just doesn't have it. it the great walls are just not in this, which is just kind of sad because it would have been cool if they were. My path is blocked. Okay, cool. Get fast. I just want to look at around here. This is slowly getting happy, which is good. And um, I'm also going to build another temple here, I think. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some more consecrated ground. Commander. I might just go ahead and just march out and just. I'm just going to go ahead and march out. Yeah, and just kill this army because it's just annoying to have it around. Oh, we'll go an aggressive stance. Waiting kill for a new course. Are they just still going to chill around? Ready? Wipe them out! Do the exact same again. Oh, it's a stance again. We still that... have a good wind. It does. Thank God. That killed that navy. We can also try and get it back to Easy Napoli. But we're not quite going to do that. Ready for battle. These guys can just sort of chill. What do we even have here? I didn't even check. All Roman stuff, which is fine. Why are they unhappy? Let's go ahead and have a look. Uh, Culture-wise, they are Latin is going up and Punic is going down, which is good. We need that to hurry up, though. Really, why are they so unhappy? Culture different. So when when the culture finally changes, they'll become happy, which is just perfect. Uh, what buildings do they even have? They do actually have a temple here, which is always good. I might even upgrade that because it's only fourteen hundred. Yeah, why not? We're going to upgrade that. That's, that's just quite good because now we have two temples um, to... Yeah, we only have two of these temples. Oh, no, I actually probably built up here, though. Yeah, we now actually have two of these temples, which increase my... Uh, oh, no, one's a temple, one's a library, which all increase my research rate, which is, you know, brilliant. If I can get ahead of people, that'd be good. And then we'll get this, and then it just gives me more food, and it's just overall yes. a smart idea. So then this fleet will go back. They'll All three of these guys will attack me next turn, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll mean that they're knocked out of the game, so I don't have to deal with them anymore. And then I'll be in peace, and I can rebuild, make places happy, um, and everything will just be awesome. How is my scholar looking in Italia? That's what we kind of need to look at. Uh... Does it not say? Does it say scholar anywhere? Does it not say scholar anywhere, or at least anywhere I can see. Because people always like say that just the scholarness is just atrocious. Oh well, we won't. I guess I can't see it anywhere. 
Which is fine. How much sway do we have now? Oh, we got another one of these things. Um, blessings. A distant member of family. We need to adopt him so we have, hopefully, we have more of these, uh, like more generals and people in my house. At the moment, it's only me. And if he dies out, then I don't even know what will happen if uh, Cornelius Bassus dies out. Yeah, if Quintus dies out, it's not good. Where is he? Is he leading an army? It is an honor to Is this serve Quintus? Rome. How do we look? Um. He's got loads of things. Traditions. These guys need a tradition as well. Again, just formidable fighter. I think personally it's the best one. They'll have the eagle. Actually, no. They'll have that. That looks quite cool. Uh, he needs to be a, a commander. Hit, hit. A Scipii. At your command. Where's the dude? How do I find out? Quintus Cornelius Biasus. So we can't let him die at all costs. If he dies, we're fucked. I think we pretty much lose the campaign. I'm not sure if you actually do, though, if you kill everyone. If you kill all your family members. So if, say if I was to be assassinated, God forbid, forbid obviously. Um, yeah, I might even just lose the campaign right up. Actually, how big are their fleets left? Because yes. I could just do this. Kill the coward! And hopefully that just is just one less fleet I have to deal with. Yeah. Brilliant. Still have a good wind. And he increased in rank as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do authority. Cool. Uh, let's Your go ahead and move him back to port as well. I mean, let's go ahead and end the turn. And then next, uh, I keep on forgetting to turn off AI movement. I will keep on thinking it. And then I'll probably go completely off topic. And then forget about it again. This is just annoying. We don't care about what they're doing in Greece. Or about the the Epirusian fleet. I wonder if, if Epirus is actually dead. See, as you can see, they're going to go ahead and besiege me and try and take this back. And it's just not going to work with everything they have. And then I can just easily auto-resolve this and not really have to worry about anything. Oh, is it still really not going to die? Oh my god, it's so annoying. I just wanted to die. Like, seriously. It's just annoying. At least uh, our faction leader is getting really upgraded from this. But it's just annoying having to deal with it every turn. Like, I don't, I don't want to march out and then the fleet just come in and take it. So I, I, can't, I can't really just go ahead and do it. Who the hell are you guys? Why are you landing on my... Or near my land? If they landed on my land, it'd be... Not good for me. And by the looks of it, they're heading towards it. Because I don't really have a second standing army. Legio 1 is in Rome, but that's about it. So that's a little bit scary. They've got a full stack there as well, like a proper full stack. They could just tear Italy apart. Which is definitely not good, so fingers crossed they won't do that. But who knows. Okay, first things first. Oh, blessing by the god, general. Who got that? Maybe him? I don't know. First things first, though. AI movement. How the hell do I turn it off? Game settings. Show computer movement. Huzzah! Victory is done. Victory is away. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and just finish off these fleets. It is an honor to Back down on them! I don't know. I kind of want to play it just to fight a naval battle. We're going to fight this battle. Just because I, I never fought a naval battle before. So I kind of just want to fight it. So let's see. It's going to be a really easy naval battle, but I just want to fight it because I haven't fought one before. And naval battles are always fun. I was watching Lionheart. Uh, he his army got a little bit caught, and uh, yeah, he was like he had like three ships versus the entire like army of the enemy, and they just wrecked him. But he managed to take down a few ships, and it's pretty cool with Sardinia in the background. I guess that is supposed to be Rome over there. That looks yeah, it looks kind of cool. General. So, first Support things first, I want to have my Command missile ships over here, our missiles await your orders. yeah, and then my general. my general over here on his boat ready to jump off and do some damage with their shields, my marines, uh, let's, get, let's go ahead and move them up. At your command, support ships. There are those who say I have been touched by the gods. There are those who pray that the gods will inspire me in battle. And they all should fear, for I have seen the gods. I know their He's seen the gods. That's a 
a very cocky speech, to say the least, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, let you see my gods. So yeah, they're just going to stand still. They haven't got hardly any men on them boats, so it should not be hard at all. We'll speed things up till my, my ships get over here and we'll see some cool combat. I'll try ram them. See, so yeah, they're actually going to move forward, which is kind of funny. They're going to receive so much missile fire. They're going to ram them. Oh my god, how did they just ram me? That's funny. No, they just completely destroyed me with that ram. We need to get out of them. We need to... I want to board them so we can just... Yeah, if I can board them, that'd be brilliant. Because at the moment they're just ramming me, which is not good because it's, it's destroying my ship. So we just need to hack them down. Obliterate them. Rome is mother to us all. Yeah, at the moment they're just ramming me and it's just an entire unit. Oh my perished. god, this is just annoying. Holy crap, I've pretty much lost this battle then, and I've lost my fleet. If I can just if I can just keep on going round him and not get caught, then it's I win it. But until then, I can't believe ramming's OP, man. He has lost quite a few men, though, which is good. And hopefully we can just use... We can just row harder than them. As long as we keep row hard... Row faster, we'll just keep... One of no. our units has used all its ammunition. And it routed. So we lost that. <laughs> it's safe to say I'm not accustomed to naval battles yet. Um, our general will die, which is annoying. Um, actually, that could not even be annoying. Hopefully, someone from someone else's house, so we gain more power. He wasn't my main general, which is good. Uh, thank God. And I, yeah, I don't think he was part of my house, so hopefully, it's all right. Unless he is, and then I lose the campaign, and we're just too good. But that was, it was funny. I was not expecting my my capital ship to go down that quickly from like one ram. Retreat! I think it's Retreat! safe to say, until I get a little bit better, we're going to leave the... Who actually survived? You didn't even die. We're going to leave the land. naval battles to the AI for now on. Let's go ahead and... I kind of want to get one of these, so then I can get some, like, naval troops just to go do some naval landings everywhere. Let's go and get one of them, because that's going to build me a nice load of... Uh, marines and stuff like that, which is just cool. Minus two food, but then it gives me a load of good stuff. More, more garrison, more money, more growth. Yeah, just going to build one of them there as well. That's pretty much all our turn, actually. All our. Oh, I actually got an upgrade for someone. Who has an upgrade? Fleet reporting. You don't. Oh, it's probably this dude. Ready for battle. Probably Quintus over here. He does actually have an upgrade. He's so upgraded already. And let's go ahead. He can be a general. Plus two authority and recruitment costs. Yeah, that's just brilliant. We'll go ahead and do that. And then return. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's going pretty well at the moment. Our spy is coming down. We don't have to watch shitty AI movement anywhere. Which is just good. And then hopefully the Etonian League. Uh, the Etonian League. No, it's may not call the Etonian League. That's a, a thing in Greece. The Etruscan League will go ahead and kill themselves on me this turn. Fingers crossed anyway. I get all the garrison forces as well, get some some of them dudes. Yeah, it's kinda of, obviously we're gonna auto resolve this battle which And that fleet's done, so I only got like two more navies left to deal with and then they're out. Normally it's not even this bad, like normally they just kill yourself kill themselves on like the first turn. But alas we're not we're not willing to do that quite yet. Yeah, it's just so much nicer not having to watch enemy fleets just go go around everywhere. It'd be cool if you could still move around when the turns are going, just so you can see, I don't know, if the armies do come or something. Oh yeah, we need to double check where that army went as well, that full stack of barbarian troops who were literally landing on our shores. But it looks like they didn't land on us, which is good. Yeah, but it looks like they just went back over here. But we just need to be wary of that. Uh, we did go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and get this, just because it... Gives us more wealth from agriculture, and we have a lot of farms everywhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have a lot of farms. 
So we already have one, one. We have this one already. Uh, we need one which gives me the highest public order, really. Uh, it might be Jupiter. Or... Or this. No, I already have that one. Yeah, I'm going to do Jupiter, I think. Just because it, it spreads my Latin culture and increases all this. Well, no, we're going to do this one because it just gives me more money. So we're going to build another temple that should hopefully start pushing. Yeah, Italia's is starting to get happy now. It's plus seven each turn, so eventually they will become happy. Your orders. And yeah, it'll just be brilliant. So, how big? Yeah, they only have one thing. I'm going to auto-resolve this battle repel. and then that should mean for battle. that they get destroyed. They did actually retreat from battle, but we can go ahead and chase them, which is perfect. And because they force road, it's just going to be an easy ass battle. And that should be everything now. They should be out. That should be factual destroyed. But we also have a naval tradition it now. An honor to serve Rome. Which is cool. Naval tradition. What do we even get? Formidable marines? Yeah, formidable marines. And yeah, then we'll have some badass marines Going coming out. And it'll just be really, really cool. How's our culture looking over here? Uh, it's, it's getting down 11% already, which is not bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to province view. We're getting a nice temple over here. Yeah, that's all cool. What, what uh, edict are we currently doing? We does not show me what we're doing right now. I guess we're doing bread and... Yeah, we're doing bread and games, which is good. It's just... Feasting happiness, which is always lovely. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, oh, yeah, we do actually have a senator now, a statesman. Do we, is he like a physical character or not? By the looks of it, not. But that's still cool. Uh, yeah, just another faction leader guy, which is always nice. Just gives us a little bit more uh, influence with the Senate, which is nice. Um, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode now. If you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and drop a like. That would be awesome more likes uh just really make my day and it's just cool um so if you want to make my day give the video a like and then go ahead and comment telling me you gave it a like um and yeah the more i see like I, I do definitely see people who always watch my videos and always comment so if you're feeling like i never watch your videos or stuff like that if i see you commenting on all my videos like over a long period of time i'm gonna go ahead and know that you're you're a true subscriber and you really enjoy my videos which is just always awesome so yeah, um, next episode will probably be up pretty soon. Uh, probably be up in a couple days, or if not the next day. And then I'll go back to probably doing some more Crusader Kings. Uh, actually get some Mountain Blade on the go as well, which will be awesome Your and orders. a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, I will go ahead and see you guys uh, next time.